morning. Come on in here. The school lunches can be a learning experience. That can be fun too. And uh, joining us is Lisa Van Gammer with Mensa for Kids. Good yes. morning. Oh, how nice are you? Nice to see you again. Good to see you. We can do this one, too. Okay, awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Right. <laughs> um, the secret Mensa handshake. Yeah, yeah, so we've been talking about this morning. You know, there's so many standard lunches. You know, I'm sick of sandwiches like PB&J, ham and cheese, but there are some ways that we can really kind of spice things up, have fun, and, and kind of learn along the way, right? Let's exactly, because... A lot of parents, the worst thing that can happen is to have their kid come home from school and find out that they threw their lunch away or traded it for something else. So if you want a lunch that your kids will keep and eat, there are just a few simple things you can do with normal ingredients to make it just a little special. Right. Especially because a lot of kids don't even get recess with lunch, so you want to make mm -hmm. the food a little intera interactive. Mm -hmm. So one of these bananas is already sliced. Can you guess which one Wait it is? Wait a second. It's wow. sliced yes. and it still has the... Yes, exactly. So I'm going to show you how to I do it. Tell. Yeah. Okay, so if you would take a pin. Take the pin. And take a pin. Okay. And take a banana. Got it. And take a banana. All right. And now what you do is just find the ridge and stick the pin in. Don't stick it all the way out the other side. Just into stick the ridge. it in into the ridge okay. and swing it from side to side. Okay. And then all you do is okay, move down along the ba banana yeah. as far apart as you want the slices. And this one is the one that's already been sliced. So I open it up, and indeed, oh. look at that, it's all oh. apart. So your children can have a little bit of magic in their lunch. Oh, that's fun. So you don't want to do this the night before because the banana will turn brown. <laughs> okay. So then just your normal little dessert, little rice crispy treat. You can make these more healthy using peanut butter. Um, instead of the marshmallow, but forming them into worms with a little fruit wrap around so the outside. So these are the worms that we were these reading about. Worms. I was excited to learn about they the worms and the rice slime. Rice Krispies. <laughs> then you can take a normal, the normal peanut butter sandwich you were talking mm -hmm. about, Adrian, and jazz it up a little bit. Just take a piece of bread in between some saran wrap, okay. roll it out with a rolling pin to flatten it, spread it with a little peanut butter, sprinkle some apples on it, and some raisins, and then cut it up, and you've got peanut oh, butter oh, sandwich oh. sushi. Awesome. <laughs> to make a sandwich a little more jazzed up, you can leave a message for a child. My <laughs> friend Samantha Hutchinson, a sixth grader in Arlington, painted these for me. Oh. All it is is two tablespoons of milk and some food coloring, okay. and just a child's paintbrush. You lightly toast it. It toasts the unpainted mm -hmm. side and leaves the painted side the way that it is, you can make a sandwich with it. So you can send a little message, reinforce shapes, letters, all kinds of When things. I was little, my mom would take the cookie cutter and put it right in my paper. Yes. And so I would, every day I'd want to know what shape it was. But I was a little embarrassed because even I got, as I got older, she still did it and I would kind of still look in my, in my lunch bag. Oh. Well, some stuff works so cool. That's so funny. <laughs> some stuff works for older kids, like sandwich on a stick. Oh, this is good, yeah. Um, is vegetables good. are second only to chicken nuggets and things kids like to dip. Okay. And so they might eat things they wouldn't otherwise eat. All this is is a normal bamboo skewer you can buy at the dollar store or the grocery store. And here we've got fruit or then this sandwich. I barely made this here. My, it's like pretty for adults. Yeah, my 16-year-old wanted to take this for lunch today. <laughs> we barely got it. And then this is just um, hummus. Oh. Or you could use any dip that your kids might be interested in eating. Very use creative. one of these same skewers to make a hole. Poke the little parsley in. All right, and then some funny face sandwiches. Funny there. face Very sandwiches cute. and chocolate slime. And then stackable and fruit. And the, the chocolate slime, we do have that recipe. Um, we have that recipe. The recipe exactly. and, um, on our website. And they can play with that. Oh, <laughs> yeah, goodness. All right. All the information on our website, myfoxdfw.com. You can find a link to Mensa for kids as well. Just look on the Good Day tab and then click on links. It's right there. Thank you so right. much. Thanks Lisa. for having me. Awesome I won't recipes. shake your hand again. Are you sure? I'll do it. I would recommend it. Okay. Maybe you do the elbow bump. There you go. <laughs>